Happening today, a landlord from New York who's accused of operating a group of Section 8 housing apartments in Hartford with terrible conditions will be facing a judge. Channel 3, I'm News reporter Patricia Del Rio is live outside housing court in Hartford. Patricia, protesters are expected to confront him today. Oh, you better believe it. These are the former residents of Barber Gardens, and they are going to let him know that they feel that he kept them in inhuman conditions. Some of the problems, among other things, are rodent infestation, mold, and no fire alarms. They just say that this is no way people should have had to have lived. When I'm showering, my neighbor on the first floor will call me and say, hey, are you guys upstairs taking a shower? Because it's raining in my bathtub. It's a story Eyewitness News brought to you ever since residents of Barber Gardens brought this to our attention. Deplorable conditions in the Section 8 housing complex in the north end of Hartford. They had complained to the owner for years and say they received little or no help. Then, after rallies and protests, the Department of Housing and Urban Development terminated their contract with Barber Gardens and residents received vouchers to move out. The fire marshal said at the time the conditions were concerning. We just care that the residents, the owners of the city of Hartford are safe and that they're protected. So the protesters are going to be here at 9 a.m. Martin Rothman is going to be in court at 10 a.m. And he could face potentially up to eight years in prison and thousands of dollars in fines. We're live in Hartford. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.